Welcome back to Studio 701. Brave the Shave started as a way for friends and family to show support for cancer patients struggling with hair loss, but now it's become something even bigger. The campaign supports over 150 families in the 701 who have a child who's been affected by cancer. That's right, and joining us now with more information on this year's event is Brave the Shave Executive Director Lachey Graff and her daughter, Michaela. Good Ladies, morning, welcome guys. to the show. Good morning, thanks for having us. Yeah. So Lachey, you've been the executive director for Brave the Shave for about a year now. About a year. Can you share with us why you decided to get involved with yeah. this organization? So I, I really, as many people, don't know what Brave the Shave was until cancer struck our family. Um, my son was three at about the time and our life completely got turned upside down. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we spent 267 days in the hospital of the very first year of treatment. Mm -hmm. Sister, you know, was away from mom, away from brother. It was going through COVID, so things were crazy. And when I was able to get to a point where um, things were a little bit better, I wanted to pay it forward and help out other families because childhood cancer is not rare. As many people want to believe, it's out there. Uh, there's children being diagnosed every single day. There's 47, one out of 47 kids, so it's crazy, mm -hmm. crazy. Uh, it's just, it needs, some, it needs more awareness, it needs more creativity and yeah. help with fundraising and everything, so. And we're, we're taking uh, yeah. a look at your son, Ashton, <laughs> and of course, Michaela. Yep. Uh, tell us about Ashton and how he's doing in his recovery. He is doing incredible. He is currently six months. Um, we're doing every six month scan. So he's not out of the woods yet, as with any child that has undergoes cancer. It's something that's with them for the rest of their life. So you think about that as an adult that's diagnosed with cancer. They've had that ability to live their life. They've had that ability to have a family or to be a part of something. These kids, they're diagnosed with cancer at a young age, and a lot of them, from their, their moving forward, um, have that cancer affecting them, whether yeah. it's a heart condition, lung condition, they have to go in for monthly draws, uh, that, that constant worry. Uh, you know, she's one, sh whenever we go for a cancer scan, she's always worried. As, is mom and brother coming home so yeah. that worry is going to always be there through the rest of their life along with you know if they were to want to have a family a lot of the cancer treatments that they give children are so harsh that it takes that that possibility away from them which mm -hmm. is really sad yeah and Michaela what was it like for you to be the big sister during all of this it was hard for me when my brother left me mm -hmm. and same with my mom I got really stressed out but luckily my dad could took care of me same with my family members including my grandma and uncle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it just seems like you have been so, so supporting. You know, it's, it's a lot to take in as, I believe you were a fifth grader at the time of when you guys received that news, so. She was actually second, second. grade. Second, oh yeah. my God. She's in fifth grade right now. Fifth yeah. grade yeah. Now. yeah, okay. So. Second grade, that's a lot to bear, you know, on a, yeah. on a child and even a, yeah. a three-year-old yeah. get, getting that news. So, Michaela. We hear you're going to be donating uh, a foot of your hair wow. to yeah. the Brave the Shave event taking place this Saturday. Your hair is extremely long, I gotta say. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it have, is. Have you been growing it out for this event? No, I just grow it out randomly. Okay. <laughs> and I just thought I could do this something new and for fun. This summer she talked about cutting her hair and we said, why don't you you know, do something more important with it. So Brave the Shea partners with an organization called Children with Hair Loss, mm -hmm. and they provide wigs free of charge for a child that has undergone hair loss from maybe cancer or another disease like alopecia or something like that. And so we need at least eight inches or more for a hair donation. Okay. And I, you know, we have a lot of incredible people at our main event that comes up that, that raises, you know, the hair and donates that hair. She's got incredible hair. We talked her into it and she decided, yeah, like after watching little brother go through it, she thought maybe there was a little girl out there that, you know, would really benefit from yeah. having some beautiful hair like hers. Well, Michaela, that is very brave and very humble of you to do <laughs> such a thing yeah. in honor of your brother and others. Um, let's talk a little bit about this, the fundraising events. Um, some have been taking place since March. Yeah. Biggest is coming up. Um, can you tell us about Jurassic Adventures? Jurassic Adventures was chosen by the children of Brave the Shave this year. So mm -hmm. we have 150 plus families. We put it out to the families. What would you like the theme to be? 
dinosaurs was what they came up with. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they're really excited. So the day of the event will be uh, April 22nd here locally at Bismarck YMCA. Doors open at noon. There's everything from inflatables to face painting. Um, there's going to be people going on the stage talking about their stories. We have about 25 families from throughout North Dakota. It's not just local Bismarck. It's throughout the whole state. And they're just really excited to get out there. Their children have been through a lot. The families have been through a lot. And to have that ability to get out there, have awareness for what that child has gone through, what the family has gone through, because it's not just one person that has affected that. It's the whole family. And our biggest thing is Brave the Shave, you know, we, we want to help these families. There's constantly new families coming to us. Have you heard of Brave the Shave? My child was just diagnosed. Um, talk to them. We help with everything from mortgages to the payments to keep the lights on, uh, you know, hospital bills. So that family can be present when they are needed most. And I'll tell you right now, you know, I spent nine months straight at the hospital bed next to my son. And without that ability to be there for him, I think things would have gone completely different. So a family needs to be an advocate for their child. And if Brave the Shave can help with that, great. But Fundraising needs to help. Um, anything help, can help. I think there's some links that we've given you guys. Mm -hmm. if, if you guys want to share those, and please, it's open to the public. So we'd love to see faces there and everybody come in. Okay. Well, thank you both for being here today. Mm -hmm. And we just want to mention that Brave the Shave Jurassic Adventures will take place Saturday, April 22nd at the Missouri Valley Family YMCA in Bismarck. Event starts at 1.30 p.m. and doors open at 12 p.m. And for more information, you can head to bravetheshave.net.